Colleagues, I deliberately stayed away from proposing any definite changes during my interview process, since I think it is extremely important for me to first come to terms with the environment and to hear your views before even thinking about change. So continuity is important for me. And in this respect, I want to acknowledge Professor Rob Veal for the important role that he has played over this past year in stabilizing the ship. Rob was brought on board to lead the faculty, and I'm very grateful that Rob passes on to me a system that is positive and forward-looking, and I want to thank Rob for that, and for his assistance through this transition period. Now, arguably, the shining stars of any university are its academics and its students, and the primary work before us is research, teaching, and learning. And so all the efforts from the executives, including the deans, to the support staff and services must be in support of this primary goal. For if it is not, then we must ask the question, why? For if there are requirements on academics and students that do not advance the academic project, then this will be counterproductive in my view. During my application process, I made a very big push for running an efficient operation in the faculty office. I can say that since then, many folk within the university have mentioned to me how fortunate we are to have a very effective and efficient Faculty of Science office. To the faculty staff, I want to say that some of your reputations have preceded you and several of you have been mentioned by name because of your very excellent service and I want to thank you for that and long may that continue. The administrative and support staff are the unsung heroes of any successful university and if you go by unnoticed or not sufficiently recognized, it is probably only because you're do doing your work very well. I'm looking forward to working with Kate Mukanzi, Renee Fosler and Yusuf Hassim and your respective teams to advance the administration of the faculty. As a matter of priority, I've set up individual meetings with all the heads of schools and assistant deans early in December. My preference is for continuity with the portfolios as much as I can have it. Now, some of the assistant dean's positions will become vacant at the end of this year because of retirements and others are up for reappointment. I obviously do not know the environment and so I'm already having engagements and considering recommendations in this regard. I will consider the assistant deans essentially as deputies and will probably often use these terms interchangeably. I expect that assistant deans will be able to deputize for me on occasion and as appropriate. With the heads of schools, I've said that I will be a visible dean Boots on the ground, so to speak. I will come over to you in December and I want to have a brief overview of your school and hear of pressing matters that you feel need my attention. Tell me how you feel I can be of more assistance to you and what your expectations are of me. What, in your opinion, are some of the bold new ideas that we should be implementing in the faculty? Of course, I have my own ideas, but I first want to hear from you. I'm aware that resources are very tight. I've not been given an opportunity to look at the faculty budget in detail as yet, but the clear directives that I have been given is that schools must manage the budgets very tightly. In the first half of next year, I intend to have bilateral meetings with each of the schools. This will involve the assistant deans, at least those who are available, and the faculty managers accompanying me to meet with you and your management committees, and others, such as senior professors and other, other academic leaders and so on, to talk about school-specific matters, to exchange ideas, and to hear concerns, and to basically unravel blockages. If these bilaterals work out successfully, then I'll want to propose that we replicate this on perhaps a biannual or, or annual basis. Also, I hope that all schools will be open to hosting faculty executive meetings in your own locales. I would appreciate that very much. We must get to know each other's local environments very well. 
It is my intention to visit research groups and individual researchers, research centers and institutes, and this I will do directly. I want to talk with the movers and the shakers, people who are positive about the future and who have a strong commitment to making this a better place for all. Generally speaking, my preference is to meet with people in their own locales. So please don't be surprised if you see me walking down your corridors. I'm always looking for good coffee. And if you're hosting a colloquium appropriate for a slightly less specialized audience, please let me know. We are appropriate. We will set up working groups or task teams to move particular agendas within the faculty. I aim to reach out directly to academics whenever I feel it necessary and helpful. I've also established an open hour from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. each day for the first two weeks in December for 10 minute slots open to academics, professional and administrative staff to meet with me if they so wish, even if it is only to say hello. If this works out successfully, then I will extend this open hour into the future. A number of folk have already informed me of the keenness to meet with me early on. I'm keen to hear about exciting ways in which we can continue to advance this great faculty. I'm already working closely with the Dean of Students, Mr. Jerome September, to establish a strong rapport with our students. I will meet with the school councils together with the corresponding head of school early in the new year. And thereafter, I shall set up a bi biannual forum for the chairs of the school councils to meet with me. I expect that our science students are serious about their life's ambitions. We need to focus on helping enhance the student experience more completely and to get our students to be more focused on developing their academic and professional lives and enhancing the intellectual environment in which they work. Colleagues, please call me Nithya and I look forward to working for you as the Dean of the Faculty of Science. Thank you.